Okay. Sega. One year after the battle. The city that had been plagued with crime and violence was safe and peaceful. However, evil has once again cast its shadow over the city. Mr. X, the syndicate boss believed destroyed by the three young vigilantes, has come back to life stronger than ever. First, he's for revenge. He kidnaps Adam in an attempt to lure Axel and Blaze into a trap. Axel and Blaze set out to help their faithful companion, joined by Axel's friend Max, a wrestler, and Adam's kid brother, Skate. They're determined to save Adam and put Mr. X out of action. Four young friends, rage burning inside them, make a stand for friendship and peace. Okay. So, things just got a little serious here. This is Streets of Rage 2, the Sega Genesis. It's a sequel to the Streets of Rage, which I played earlier on my channel. Oh, yeah, notice that wireless controller? Now I'm using a wireless controller. It's a... It's a controller shaped like... Oh, didn't mean to select that. Hang on. Okay, so we're back. I had to reset. I accidentally selected dual. I'm actually good at normal on this one. So here we have Max and Skate as new characters. But now we also have Axel and Blaze. Adam's not on the lineup because he's been captured by Mr. X as shown in the intro. We gotta save him. And also rid the streets of these punks that are taking over again. Woo! So as you notice, the graphics are definitely better than in the first game. And it's, it's got some interesting little controls. Like, when you punch, uh, you get stuck in one spot for a little bit, then you're able to move. It's not too long, but it can make a bit of a difference sometimes. Or maybe not a huge one, but still, it's noticeable. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah. There's an apple. I'm going to take the apple because I'll beat it. Oh, yeah. Taking the knife. I got it. Yeah. Me. Like you can actually thrust the knife and you can actually throw it manually now. It's a huge improvement. Oh, but anytime you grab someone, you drop whatever weapon you're holding. Which, uh, it's kind of bothersome, but. Oh, not the horrible. Yeah, you can throw any of the weapons manually. You just press the jump and attack button at the same time. So anyway, uh, you saw the wireless controller thing? Uh, the reason is I am using a wireless controller. It's shaped like a Nintendo... Uh, shaped like a controller for Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It's also compatible with Nintendo Switch. So that's awesome. Find the guy with knives. Yeah, this guy's gonna take a little while to kill. 
น้อยครับAll right, there's a uh, Electro. Wow, she looks like the type of woman you want to stay steer clear of. And just look at the way she's dressed. All right, we beat her, and now we're heading out. Oh! Oh! Like roundhouse me! Oh! Jeepers! Oh yeah, and there's this new attack you can use. If you ever in a pinch, you just press uh, the A button, and you do. If you do it while standing still, uh, it does something different. But since I'm doing, and if you do it while you're moving, does something, yeah, yeah. The only thing is, uh, if you hit your enemies with a special attack, it drains your energy. Well, uh, with the stationary uh, thing, you won't lose energy if you're unable to hurt anyone. But with the uh, if you're moving when you do it, then you will lose energy no matter what. Ooh. Yeah, that's how we do it. Yeah, nailed ya. Alright, I get my bonuses, and now we just gotta... gotta press the button. Alright, we're gonna stop it right here. We're gonna play stage two in the next part.